100 like Usain Bolt Speaking of race, we all have a body, spirit, and soul And we'll have to stand before God if we want that goal There's more than just white sheep and my God sheep fold And I ain't crying wolf, no matter what you've been told I was shown to love my brother since I was three days old They paint the scene, but the fight ain't what it seems I see Martin Luther King was speaking only flesh They said he had a dream The devil's scheme has a theme and it seems that he's always been a fiend at the same thing Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes and that pride to everything So if I get high-minded and don't abide in the vine of Zion Then I should be reminded that my kind has been blinded And reminded to a time of a kindness While their sides intertwined in a lifetime of crime Come find like a crime. The outdoor power tech Today we're going to be looking at this uh, uh, transmission off of a Troy Bill Pony And it's a 2017 model the guy started having issues where when he would put it in forward, it wouldn't engage, the actual handle wouldn't engage in forward. It was binding up. And uh, we looked over all his linkages and everything. Everything was perfect. Everything in great shape. And a lot of times on these things, the slide the slide on these things, let me get y'all zoomed in so you can see. This slide right here is what controls going into forward, pulls halfway out for neutral. See, that's the way it is. Yeah, and out another half inch or so for reverse. And there's a ball bearing in here. A lot of times, or time, it, and he's only having an issue with it. It'll go in reverse and it'll go in uh, neutral, but it won't go in forward because, you know, that's you going from neutral to forward more than you are neutral to reverse so a lot of time this slide will get hung up and or the ball bearing will wear a groove in this slide and it won't allow it to push in and out but let me, i'll show you the toy built that it's on so you can get an idea this is it like i said it's a troy built pony seven speed and the seven speed is just controlled by a lever on the console that adjusts the belt, uh, which of course speeds it up or slows it down. But it's just your fairly fairly standard transmission on these. Um, like everything else in the world, they it's a throwaway world, so they build these things like crap. But we're going to, I've got it cleaned up real good so we can open it up and see what's going on. And uh, hopefully that's the issue. Let me see if I have one of those slides on the bottom. Uh, yes, okay. Well, this looks new. This is the slide that I'm talking about. This is what's sticking out, that end. And the ball bearing goes on here and However you move your linkage, this is gonna be neutral, reverse, or it'll be yeah, this way in a transmission, if you're looking in front of transmission. So this is reverse, neutral, and forward, the further it pushes in. And this one looks like it's in great shape. It might be new. There's no wear on it, but okay, let's get this open up and see what's going on. It's just a 10 millimeter socket. And I'll go ahead and just go ahead and take all these. And all these bolts are the same length. And there's not, there's not transmission fluid in here. So don't worry about it it's spilling out everywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just uh, rear end grease. It, it, it isn't a true hydro, it's just a brand that makes it. And the fine parts on these transmissions, there is a label uh, back here on the transmission. And um, it'll give you the part number for transmission. And this is built by, I'm 99% sure this is still built by hydro because the part number 
transferred over, but I, I couldn't look it up because it was proprietary to uh, Toro. So what I ended up doing, most times you'll see the label, and the label have hydro written on it and their part number, and the label that's on this one doesn't have hydro, but it has a part number. But what I ended up doing is going, looking up the breakdown on the actual tractor, more, whatever you want to call it, and went to the transmission section, and uh, it had the breakdown for the transmission on there. Uh, so you can find the parts that way. All right, it sounds like it's got nut. All right, you just pull the top off of it. And here's a ball bearing. Let's zoom this in here a little bit. The ball bearing is good. <clears throat> is good. Do not lose this ball bearing. I looked up on parts. I, I haven't been able to find this ball bearing on the parts breakdown. Some models, it does show the breakdown, like it shows the ball bearing, but do not lose this ball bearing. I'm actually going to get a magnet and stick the ball bearing to it right there. It's beside, beside the table, just out of the way right there. So I don't lose it. All right, let's get this slide out. And I'm going to, I'm going to go take it to my horse washer and clean it. And I'll be right back with y'all. So just so we can get it. All right, guys, I am back after cleaning it up. As you can see, this side looks good. This side has a groove war in it. You can see where that ball bearing rides on that. Let me zoom out this just a little bit so it might get a little clear. There we go. You can see that ball bearing has war groove in here. And that slight little groove is it's enough to make that ball bearing not roll and it just hang and won't go in gear. So we're gonna replace this. And I'll give you well I'll give you part number on this one but your tractor might dip might differ from it so uh, may, I won't give you the part number on Just look at your tractor breakdown online. It's very simple. You just put your model number online and look it up on, I usually use Jack Small Engines. They have a lot of breakdowns on everything. And then make sure you have the right year uh, of your tractor and it'll give you the right part number. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. And I'm gonna see if the one I had, the one I have in stock is a, little bit has a little bit bigger grooves in it so i'm wondering if that if it'll even work no you know what i'm just going to order the part when it gets back in That's not that bad. It's bad enough though. All right guys, what I've decided to do is because I did call MTD and this is not a hydro gear. Uh, they're manufacturing their own transmissions now and uh, some of the stuff is exactly the same. Some of the stuff is different and I, they won't give me a breakdown on it. Um, I don't know why, but so I can't get this shift for But if you're able to order yours, we'll still go with the same procedure and everything. And um, I tried the other shift fork and it, and it worked, um, but it wasn't working as good as I, I wanted to work. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, because I can't get this part from MTD, they give me the, they give me the part number uh, to use, and it was the part that I put in there and it didn't work right. Um, of course, y'all saw it was a little bit, design was just a little bit different than this. So what I'm going to do is, right here, where it's scored up and our ball bearing is having a hard time rolling over this, I'm going to grind this off of this fork right here. 
and I'm just going to turn this a complete like half turn to where I have a good side that the ball bearings will roll on when I'm done. All right, so once I get back from doing that, like I said, I'm going to just grind this off, this tab, spin it around to a good, to a good side because the ball bearing is only rolling in one spot. The bottom part ain't nothing working on touching that. So I'm just going, like I said, grind that off, spin it around, make sure everything's lined up right, and I'm going to re-weld it on this side, which will be fine. This has no contact with nothing. So, all right, once I'm done for all that, I'll be back with you. All right, guys, I'm back. Got it welded up. Now, I'm not a welder, guys. I, I, I'm, I'm just a mechanic. And, you know, I do engine rebuilds and anything mechanical I can do, but I'm not the best welder in the world. But we got her on there, and it goes in like this. As you see, we got flip now, so we got a good smooth surface, and this was the other side where it was boogered up at. All right, so we're gonna slide her in like so. I'll put some grease in here too. Again. You never know what you're going to run into when you're working on stuff. I mean, all these companies, they do one thing for so long and then MTD buys part of it and they start creating their own crap. That's all MTD stuff is, is crap. Now, I've already packed uh, grease in here earlier, so I'm not going to do it again. Let's get this on. Let's get our spring out. Line her up. Go ahead and put all the bolts in. You don't have to follow no pattern on this because there's no gasket on it, it's just grease in there. Okay, that's done. That's done. Put our piece of plastic back in here. That's done. All right. Get our six millimeter Allen. Open this. Make sure our bearing ball is clean. And it is. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on this. Put it right there so when the ball goes in it'll get greased up okay now we're going to put our spring in now we're going to put our six millimeter allen bolt back in tighten this down all right i'm going to put her back in with the work that we just did and i'll be back with you when it's done and we'll see how she's working
here. Alright guys, till next time, we'll see.